We're in Botswana and it's been a chaotic week. And I'm not only talking about the 52 frames theme of the week, which is chaos for week 12, but the week itself. I couldn't really do a lot of planning since I didn't know what the week will hold for us, what the environment will be like, and then obviously the unpredictability of the wildlife. This is elephant capital, with the largest population of elephants being in Chobe, with more than 300,000 of them. I was sure I'm going to submit some sort of elephant photo. Usually, with 52 frames, I go out on a specific shoot, but this entire week was filled with photography, so I only had to keep this week's photo theme in mind when shooting my photos.
Der Vetter wollte dich ab mit. Was ist ein Hannesluchner inspiriert Vetter? Hannesluchner ist mein favorite wildlife photographer. Und er took the most memorable photo of elephant spraying mud in a high key photo. And I wanted to take my version of that photo. The underground hide at Chinyati was the perfect opportunity for me to try and capture my version of Hannes Lochner's photo. The human characteristics in baboons makes them one of my favorite animals to look at, and I should have known that they would provide my chaotic photo for this week. During our last sunrise coffee at Sinyati, the baboons weren't as chilled as Tashis and myself. The distant chaos soon approached us with fighting and running against the rising sun. And due to the harsh dry season that they're having, the dust that was kicked up provided that perfect subject separation in the rising sun. I instantly knew that this would be my photo to submit this week. And because I wanted to keep my screen time to the minimum, I didn't do much editing, only focusing on the crop and enhancing that dusty golden look of the photo. Everything happened so fast. I didn't have time to focus on the video since the photo was my first priority. I know there's been a lot of footage and detail about our first week in Botswana, but that was the backstory to my photo, and I really wanted to include that. Even the submission of the photo itself was quite a bit of challenge, since cellular signal is limited. We had to drive until we found sufficient signal, had to pull off to the side, open up the laptop, and submit the photo next to the road. It's a bit overwhelming taking in everything, photographing and videographing for these videos. Thus, I would like to take a moment and thank my backup crew, my hubby, mom and dad, who were generous enough to supply their footage for my video this week. Next week's theme is in the opposite direction, which is minimalistic, but we're still on safari and I would love to see what I come up with. I'm almost certain it's still going to be a wildlife photo, so Join me then to see what I come up with. Thank you for watching and see you then.